Today I'm going to show you how I created this custom button inside of ChatGPT that when clicked, it takes all the code within the box and saves it into a file so that you don't have to go back and forth copying and pasting into your editor. So before we get started, let's break down the prompt that we're about to use. So here at the top, we're asking ChatGPT to look for specific elements within the page. We're looking for the bar that holds both the language name and the copy code button. We ask it to look for the element that holds the copy code button. And then look for the span that holds the programming language. Then we ask it to create a button that has the following properties assigned to it. And then we tell it when the button is clicked, it should simulate the copy code button and also allow the user to save the file in the following language. So in other words, if it's a JavaScript file, it should be code.js. And if it's Python, it should be code.py. And if you're not sure what it is, then save it as a text file. And finally, we ask ChatGPT to look through the site, and if it finds any box that does not have a button assigned to it, it should assign it, and it should check every three seconds. Okay, so ChatGPT just provided us with the code. Let's copy the code. Then let's right click, select inspect. And then we're gonna click on console. Now paste the code and hit enter. This should inject the button inside of the code box. Looks like it's working. Let's try clicking on the button to see if it works. And it doesn't appear to be working. So let's go back to ChatGPT. Let's type. When the create button is clicked, it should click on the following elements. Now let's hit right click, select inspect. And then we're just going to hit this little arrow here on the top left. And then let's click on the copy code. Now let's head over to the right side and right click on the highlighted area and select edit attribute. Now copy the entire class and paste it into ChatGPT. Then we're going to also type, it should also dump the data from the clipboard into a file as specified earlier. Please update the code. Now that the code has completed, let's refresh the page. When injecting code into a page, it's only temporary, meaning that whenever you refresh the page, the code you injected will be wiped. Okay, now that the button is gone, let's copy the code, right click, inspect, console, and let's paste the code and hit enter. Okay. So the button is back. So now when you click on the create file button, it automatically clicks on the copy code button and also opens up our save file prompt. So that's good, it's working. However, what's not working is that it's saving in the wrong format. It's saving as a TXT where it should have been a JS for JavaScript. It's okay for now, let's just change it ourselves and let's save the file to make sure it works. Okay, so it saved the file. We can see it up here in the download section. Um, so let's check in Visual Studio to see if we can see the code inside of it. And it looks like it works. Great. So let's go back into ChatGPT to try to figure out why it's not saving in the proper format. So it's possible that ChatGPT is not looking in the right location to locate the language. So let's right click and select inspect. Click on the little arrow button here. And we're going to select JavaScript. Let's go to the highlighted area in the right, and this time we're going to right click and select edit as HTML. And we're going to highlight from the top of this class here all the way to the end of this span. And we're going to copy it and paste it into ChatGPT. But first we're going to type, the file is only being saved in .txt. 
The element for the language can be found here in between the span. Please update the code and now paste the code at the end of the sentence. You can also see that our button is being added to every code box that ChatGPT generates. Okay, now that the code is done, let's copy the code and now let's refresh the page. Right click, select inspect, go into console, paste the code and enter. Now let's click on the button and it looks like it's still not working. Let's see if we can go back into the code and see if we can figure it out since it seems like it might be a simple fix. So if we look under finding the programming language code, we can see that it's looking in the right place. So we know this is not the problem. I think I may have found the issue. If you look in the code, it shows JavaScript spelled with a capital J and a capital S. But if you look at the top of the code box, you can see that ChatGPT spelled JavaScript in all lowercase. So let's try this fix ourselves. Let's copy the code, refresh the page, right click, inspect, console, let's paste the code, and now let's edit and let's make sure that JavaScript is all in lowercase. Now let's apply it. Let's go back into our button here. Let's click on it. And there, now it's working. Now let's ask ChatGPT to fix this typo. Now let's copy the code, refresh the page, right click, inspect, console, and paste the code. Hit enter. Okay, now let's click on our button. And now it's prompting us with the right format. Now let's click save and let's replace our file here. And let's go back into Visual Studio just to make sure that the code updated. And it looks like it has, you can see here you see the lowercase JavaScript, so there you have it. You just created a button that allows you to save all the code into a file so that you can eliminate having to go back and forth into Visual Studio. I hope this speeds up your development process. If you like this content, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time.